Back in the day, there was a family on our street with a wood-sided Plymouth satellite station wagon that was decked out with slotted mag wheels, a glass pack muffler, and a full-width three-year mud flap. That setup was unusual for a family hauler back then, but it turns out their extra sporty satellite was merely ahead of its time. Today's parents seem to be keen to show the world they're still cool even with three kids, and a popular way to do so is by opting for the sport trim version of their three-row SUV something like the Chevrolet Traverse RS. Chevrolet has gone all in on this trend. In addition to the RS, its family size crossover can be sportified with a Midnight Edition, Sport Edition, or Redline Edition package, which mostly offer various combinations of black exterior elements. These joint similar efforts such as the Ford Explorer ST line and the Volkswagen Atlas sell our line black. Like those competitors, the Traverse RS's sporty look is pretty much just image. RS Appearance and Performance The RS gets dark finish 20-inch wheels, versus 18s, power folding mirrors, black roof rails, a black grille, black window surrounds, and black badging. When the RS trim level first appeared in 2018, it had its own exclusive engine, a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder. That setup didn't exactly scream performance, and it also could be at only with front-wheel drive. The Turbo 4 has since been dropped. Now, the RS uses the same engine as all Traverse models, a 3.6-liter V6 making a stout 310 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque. And, like the rest of the lineup, it's available with front or all-wheel drive. The V6 may be no different than you'll find in any Traverse model, but it's strong enough to drag this big machine to 60 miles per hour in 6.8 seconds and to send it through the quarter mile in 15.1 seconds at 94 miles per hour. As it happens, the Chevy's numbers exactly match what we measured with the 10 best winning Kia Telluride. And they beat the six-cylinder Jeep Grand Cherokee L. 8.0 seconds to 60 miles per hour in the 16.0 second quarter mile at 87 miles per hour. Those results and the Chevy's real-world response won't create an illusion that you're piloting a high-performance SUV, but they're certainly adequate. The Chevy's big V6 with all-wheel drive nets EPA estimates of 17 miles per gallon city and 25 miles per gallon highway, a not-so-stellar result but one that's not out of line for this segment. In our 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy test, however, it managed just 22 miles per gallon. Among six-cylinder competitors with all-wheel drive, the Nissan Pathfinder does better, with EPA ratings of 21 miles per gallon city and 27 miles per gallon highway, while the Volkswagen Atlas fares worse on the highway, earning 23 miles per gallon, its city range is 18 miles per gallon, from the EPA. But both of them beat the Traverse in our real-world highway test. The Traverse also tows 5,000 pounds, which is the same as most of its rivals. If you need more towing capacity, look to the Jeep Grand Cherokee L or to a full-size rig like the Chevy Tahoe or the Ford Expedition. Plenty of room for the whole gang, simple infotainment interface, well-tuned chassis. The RS suspension is unchanged from other Traverse variants, but that's not likely to disappoint the target audience. Chevy engineers have done a good job with chassis tuning here. The ride is compliant, yet body motions are not excessive. The steering could do with a better sense of on-center but overall is neither overly light nor unnecessarily heavy. You won't be tempted to go diving into corners in this thing but doing so would only cause your passengers to spill their juice boxes anyway. The RS sits roughly midway up the Traverse hierarchy, and it's the point at which a bunch of desirable features become standard. Those include adaptive cruise control, navigation, and a multi-view camera system. The latter is a must for maneuvering this big machine in tight quarters. Another worthwhile item is the rear camera inside mirror, which can toggle between a traditional reflective surface and a wide-angle camera feed. The camera feed is useful not only when a car full of rear seat passengers or bulky cargo obstructs the view but even at other times, owing to the forest of thick pillars. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear is definitely true in this case, though. So a check of the side mirrors is a must before a lane change. 
even with the electronic helpers, visibility is somewhat challenging. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.